Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create the wheel. Um, I've got my original part opened up. I'm going to start by clicking the plus. Create Part Studio. Again, just like in the other videos, first thing I'm going to do is right click on this and rename it to Wheel. Alright, the wheel is going to be developed using the Revolve tool. I'm going to draw this shape and then revolve it around that center axis. So I'll do a new sketch right here on my front. I'm actually going to use the rectangle tool. Let's start by creating a rectangle. The height of this rectangle, if I zoom in here, the height of this rectangle is one inch. And the width of the rectangle is 0.25. Top of it is a circle. I'll just go ahead and create a circle from my midpoint out. And then it's got this recessed or this cutout area. So again, I'm going to use the rectangle tool. So my thickness, 0.125. The distance then from my center point to the top edge of that rectangle should be 0.75 here to here, 0.75. The distance then from the bottom, or from my center point again, to the bottom of the rectangle is 0.25. Right? I can go ahead and trim out what I don't need. I'm going to add two fillets at this point. Move this out of the way. Uh, if you look at here, it's got a radius of 0 0.063 on this inside edge and this outside edge. So I'm going to click fillet. I'm going to click on where I want it. And I'm going to type in point, point 0 0.063. I'm going to do the same thing down here. 0.063. All right. At this point, I'm ready to revolve my object. I'll hit my finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. Click on revolve. Click my shape, and this will be my axis. I am going to go back real quick and add in two more fillets. This inside edge and this inside edge are also filleted. So while I have it here. I'm going to click fill it, 0.063, click this side at inside edge and this inside edge. All right. Uh, next up, I'll drill the hole right through the middle. The size of that middle hole is 0.28. So I'm going to do a new sketch right here. Use that center point and draw a circle off my center point. 0.28. Finish sketch. Click extrude, click that shape, and simply remove it. Um, to get to create the spoke effect, right? I've got six spokes. I'm going to do my drawing from the back side, so I'm going to do a new sketch here on the back. Now we've got a number of circles, right? The first circle we have is a radius 0.37. The second circle is a radius 0.63. So I click circle. Create my first circle. Again, it's radius. Radius is half that distance. So I need to double that number. So what I can do is type in 0.37 times two, and it gives me my diameter. This one here is my radius 0.63, so from right here. Again, it's radius half that distance. So I'm going to type in 0.63 times 2, and I get my two circles now as written as diameters. 
Um, these spokes, if I look at my blueprint, are 30 degrees thickness. So I'm going to start by creating a line as a construction line going straight up. I'll draw another line going to the right and a third line going to my left. I'm gonna come back with my dimension tool and dimension from here to here. My distance of each one of these spokes or openings is 30 degrees, so I need 15 degrees on each side. Right, and this little area here is essentially what I'm looking for. I use my scissors tool and trim out what I don't need. There's my opening, similar to that. All right, so I have my feature now trimmed out. What I want to do is copy this around six times. So I'm going to go up here where it says pattern, pull it down to say circular. I want to select my objects to pattern. You can see what's happening here. Right now it's limited to three. But if I click this three here and switch it to six, hit enter, it copies that object or that drawing six times. Now with my extrusion tool, I can simply extrude these six objects. All right? Next up, I'm going to look at this spoke here where our linkage arm will sit. I'm going to do a new sketch right in here on this surface. I'm going to create a circle that is 0.25. Notice I placed it right along the plane of my center point. The distance from my center point to that center point is 0.7. So from my center point here to this circle, 0.7. All right, you'll see that it does go into my object, that's fine. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. All right, so I have that circle created. I'm gonna click on extrude, and I'm gonna go ahead and extrude this shape. When you extrude this, you want to get close to this inside edge to allow me to click this edge and this edge. You can see what's happening there. My extrusion for this peg is 0.25. All right. On top of that, I have two more pegs. New sketch on top. Place a circle from the exact same center point size of that circle is 0.125. Hit finish sketch, click extrude, click my shape. This is going to come out a distance of 0.125. All right, the last step then is to create this hole that goes down into my object. I'm going to do a new sketch again right on top. Create a circle right off that same center point. We 0 0.0625. This gets finished sketch, extrude. There's my part, but this one's getting removed a distance of 0.25. Symmetric view. I can turn these planes off. I don't need them anymore. There's my wheel.